Shall I send these out right away, sir? Sure thing, old sport. Good afternoon, gentlemen. As you almost know, my name is Jay Gatsby. I'd like to welcome you all to my estate. I'm very glad that you've all decided to meet me here for this week, and I promise you, this will be well worth your time. Mr. Gatsby, I'll save on all questions until later. There are one or two things I'd like you to know first. By simply applying for this seminar, you have all taken the first steps into making a new name for yourself. Whoever you used to be in your life, that is behind you now. Over the next week, my house will serve as the location of your own personal rebirth. Do you live here by yourself? Oh, heavens no. I have an entire staff here to help me run the grounds, uh, do the cooking, the cleaning, etc. I think he was referring to friends or family. Unfortunately, all my relatives are deceased, but you should see the parties we throw here. The whole world is my best friend, Mr. Proofrock, and we get along splendidly. Short answer is no. <laughs> Please, everyone have a seat. May I offer you all something to drink? Something strong. Very well. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why are you dressed that way? Well, this? I was out driving, old sport. You noticed the car, I presume. Do you like it? I was considering something yellow, maybe. It's fine, I suppose, but I don't see why you draw so much attention to yourself. I find a man's image is one of the most obvious and important things that he could control. Why shouldn't I look the very best that I can? I just don't see why it matters. No matter how you dress up, it doesn't change who you are. I think I remember your application now, Mr. Proofrock. I must say that I have to respectfully disagree with you on one of the two of these points here. A man can draw all the confidence in the world simply by presenting himself well. Thanks, but I've considered that before. People can tell when they're being lied to, Gatsby. I'd be seen through in a second. Don't be so sure. As long as we're talking about these applications, I believe Mr. Frum wrote a particularly interesting piece. Now, this was written to your wife, was it not? Yeah, that's right. But you never sent it to her? No. Uh, I decided not to. Might I ask why? Uh, it didn't feel right to me, that's all. Please go on. You must be completely open with me, Mr. Pro. All right, I felt like I was in love with someone else, other than my wife. Still, I didn't think leaving my Xena was the right thing to do. Haven't you ever made a mistake, Mr. Frome? Now, I don't know anything about Xena or this other girl of yours, for that matter. But I know that the human animal is not a perfect creature. I had a client some time back, thought that there was no more joy in his life. Poor soul saw himself dying as he watched the trees in his yard, but I turned that around for him. I always believe that there is some possibility for change in a person's life. You just have to tell me more about yourself, Mr. Frome, and you can be helped. Not me, Gatsby. Beg your pardon? You can't help me. I've had a swell time seeing the house and all, but... I think I'm going to get my things and leave. You can keep the deposit. I don't mind. If I recall correctly, you didn't write anything for your application, did you? Yeah, that's part of the problem. I used to live for my writing, but now I haven't put a pen on paper in months. Why is that exactly? I don't know. I've been distracted. But you wrote in the past, correct? A long time ago, but yes. Well, then it is clear to me that your voice is still within you somewhere, and I promise that we can bring it out again. Oh, fantastic. I'm relieved because you've cured me. No, that's not it at all. And what is it? You think a few fancy words and acting like you're better than everyone else can cure me? You can't even cure yourself, Mr. Gats. What'd you call me? Mr. Gatsby. That is your name, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Please, sit down. Now, clearly, you are afraid of something, and we can confront that fear together. 
Note, however, that you are already showing signs of potential recovery. You lashed out at me. You directed your emotions at me. And I think that we can direct that instead back into your writing. But what about us, Mr. Gatsby? Over this next week, you will all improve countless times over. I will teach you how to present yourself, how to express yourself, and how to achieve your fullest potential. You will come to change everything about yourself short of your name, if that is what you desire. But it's getting late now, and you all have early mornings. Our exercises will begin immediately. Your rooms have been prepared. Have a good evening. I'm not really one for these kinds of testimonials, but I have to give Gatsby credit. He's brought out the best of me, of all of us. I hear Harry's writing again, uh, some book all about the week. I'll read it, but as for me, I think I know what I have to do. These men all have potential within them. Despite their demons, I believe they can all realize these potentials and gain new perspective on life. To be able to face oneself with confidence, knowing you can make your voice heard, or make a name for yourself, or get the girl. It's what everyone deserves. With my guidance, any of these men could be great. <laughs>